another call. Here are the leaders after the original dance. Angelika Krilova and Oleg Ofsyanikov of Russia. Their nemesis for years, Pasha Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov. And now that Pasha has gone to Hollywood, the road is clear. And this will be another variation on the familiar theme of Carmen by Georges Bizet. about this couple is their really fascinating movement. Intricate, difficult, very hard. follow one of the main rules of ice dancing and that's speed, speed and then more speed. Angelika and Oleg both from Moscow. They live and train in Newark, Delaware. Silver medalists at the Olympic Games. Carmen we're used to. You'll notice also that there's an extreme express expressiveness on her part in particular. Does it work for you? No. I find her absolutely beautiful and fascinating. But as one newspaper said, her expressiveness will reach to the 70th row of the arena. Unfortunately, there's only 30 rows in it. But I find them regal and elegant skaters. This move, quite marvelous. Angelika and Oleg have themselves been involved in a number of controversial rulings by judges over the years, most involving Pasha and Yevgeny, the Olympic champions. And Oleg told us the other day he tries not to think about it, but he never wants to be a judge when he gets done skating. Take your eyes off her face. The red scarf representing the fact that she has shot him. That's all the story of Carmen is just a little convoluted in telling. One of the things that's so marvelous is her height. That way you get more to see. The leader's heading into the free dance, but a somewhat lukewarm reaction from the crowd. <laughs> 